Hello, it's Asha here. I wanted to give you a brief tutorial in the first part of about a four or five video series. And this is all about how to create a successful blog post that ranks in the search engines. So the first thing you'll need to do is do some keyword research. And there's this tool provided by Google AdWords called the Keyword Tool. And this is a free tool that shows you the search volume for any keyword. And we're looking at origami ninja stars today. Um, so fill out the annoying little capture. And then it'll give you some search results. It claims that there's 18,000 global monthly searches for Origami Ninja Star. But this is what's called Broad Match, which includes all variations of the keyword. And we want Exact Match, because that gives you the results for when someone types those exact words into Google. And this tool is very kind of broad. You can see these numbers don't look very precise. And I think Google does that on purpose, unfortunately. But we're going to go for how to make a nin an origami ninja star. Um, it has less search volume, but probably less competition than the just origami ninja star. And it's more of an interesting title for a blog post. There is also a tool called Word Tracker, um, which I would recommend um, if you've got more money to spend and want to be more accurate. They do have a um, free trial that you can use. And this tool gives you more accuracy on the competition. Um, so it's a very powerful tool and if you're a professional, then this is what you would use. But the Google tool is a good one just for um, beginners. And it also gives you a lot of ideas for what you could write your blog about. And so that's it in a nutshell. Um, one other tool which I'd like to share with you, which is very useful, is called the Preview tool, also provided by Google Analytics. Um, this tool shows you the search results um, for whatever you're looking at. So Origami Ninja Star, it'll show you what the results are in the United States. You can change these settings. And this is great because whenever you're logged into Google, the results are more tailored to you for search results like local search results and maybe something that you've plus one. So this gives you a sort of overview of what is the current articles for this. And it's another tool of great use. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.